Hey everybody and welcome to Unique by Denise. Today's class is how to make your husband look really silly by putting on makeup. Uh, what I'm going to be doing today is some basic character makeup for stage or film. I'm probably going to lean more toward stage because that's what I'm used to doing more of the same techniques apply for film. And uh, I'm going to be using the Unique product line to do this. So I'm going to take myself and make myself look like a guy of about my own age which is actually very difficult to do because, believe it or not, I've got a baby face. So, here we go. Step number one. We've got the, and I'm going to have to have my wife's disembodied voice telling me some of this stuff. This is basically the primer. What's it called? The Glorious Face and Eye Primer. The Glorious Face and Eye Primer. And uh, if you want to think of this way, it's, it's, your, uh, it's your glue that holds everything together. You start off and you get about a pea-sized amount on your finger. That's all you use out of this, and you, you apply it so that your makeup has a good base to adhere to. Voila! Step number one, done! Oh, and by the way, stay tuned to the very end of this video, because I have a special surprise that not even Denise knows about. you want to stick around for that. Okay, what we have here is the Touch Liquid foundation. Um, and this is your base. Basically your base. Now you're only going to put a few drops of this on. And See, it's a big old bottle there, but you use very little of this. That's the really cool stuff, about, thing about uh, the Unique Makeup product line. Yes, you were going to say, honey. I was going to say, you could either drop three or four drops on your face or the brush itself and then just apply it around your face. One, two. You got to squeeze the thing honey I gotta squeeze the thing <laughs> you know it's always a good idea to squeeze the thing let me try that again one, one whoops, two, two. a little too much on there squeeze it there you go there you go squeeze okay. it honey there oh. you go oh yeah you it got is, it it is squeezed all right okay. now get the brush and you want to do it in a circle motion I'm going to get the brush and do it in a circle motion you know why <laughs> Because I do what the voices in my wife's head tell me to do. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to do it in a circle fashion. Now, that's not normally how I would do it for... Um, look in the mirror and... Bruce Payne theatrical makeup. No, I'm looking at the camera right now. Well, you got to see what you're doing, honey. If you were as ugly as me, would you want to look in the mirror? Yeah. Boo! <laughs> okay. My husband has more makeup than I do. So, when it comes to putting on theater makeup, I told him I would rather him do it because he knows what he's doing. He's been doing it since how long, honey? 1979. Exactly. The same decade my wife was born. <laughs> so he knows a little bit about putting on stage makeup and theater makeup uh, and makeup for movies. He's pretty good at it. That's why I chose him to put on the unique makeup to show that not only men, I mean not only women, but men can do it also. Although, after this, I'm not sure I'll still have my man card. It may get taken away from me. Yeah, she says that I know all about makeup, but you know she's telling me exactly what to do, how to do it, when to do it, where to do it, and why to do it. Because that's my unique makeup. Ladies and gentlemen, the key to a successful marriage. When your wife tells you to do something, just say, yes, dear, and do it. Yes, dear. Okay. Have I missed anywhere, honey? No. Okay, good. I'll put this down and move on to step number three. That was two. Now we're coming up on three. It is called our Sculpting Trio. And that, again, is awesome. It comes with the brush that Don is holding. Now, how many different versions of this are there? There are three. There's a light, a medium, and a dark. And I've got the... Light. Light, because I am really, really white. <laughs> you may not have noticed, but I'm really white. Okay, so we've got three different shades here. I'm going to be using this one, which is called something I don't know. <laughs> uh, the dark stuff will be my uh, shadow, and then I'll be using the lighter for the highlight. Now, what I usually do is I crinkle up my forehead and my face to get as many of my wrinkles out there, because I don't have a whole lot normally. And then I just dab and follow. And again, it takes very little of this. 
And what I do is I start with the, with the darker colors, and then I'm going to go back and I'm going to put the highlight above them. And I'm going to blend that in after I get all of these in. I'm going to darken my temples a little bit to sink them. And again, I'll do a little bit of uh, highlight above them. And I'm going to do the same thing on these ridges. And then something else I like to do, I like to darken under my eyes just a little bit. Give me a kind of a tired, baggy, older look there. Guess what this is? I'm asking you because I really don't know what they're called. What are they called? Blending buds. Blending buds. Hey, you want a bud to hang out with? This is the guy. Um, it sort of looks like an egg. It sort of has a point. Um, it's real squishy, so if you have a lot of stress, you can use it like a stress ball. <laughs> and I'm just going to kind of blend that in a little bit. Everywhere I shadowed and highlighted. Okay. There's that. My bud has blended me. Step four. I have uh, a brown and a white eyeliner eyeliner. However, I'm not going to use it for that. I'm going to find just a couple of little places here where I want to darken up a little bit more on my lines. I'm going to put it on there. I'm going to blend it in in a moment using the same techniques. Now, right now, it looks, you know, really fake. It won't when I'm done. And again, a little bit of highlight. So, honey, I didn't ask you, how do you feel about a husband who does makeup? As long as it's for theater, and you're not down there, you know, doing the... What do you call it? Walk on Cherry, Cherry Street. Street. Walk Walking Cherry, Cherry Street, Street with, yeah. with all my makeup on. That's right. Yeah, I don't let her know when I go and do that. Oh, okay. Ah, me and my blending bud. He's such a bud to have. I wanted a bud light, and this is what she got me instead. Now, if you're doing this for stage, regular stage makeup, um, I, um, you know, you'd go heavier than that because you're farther away from the audience, you know, that type of thing. But I'm not going as heavy as I normally would for the stage based on this. Okay, that was step four, I'm going to guess. I keep forgetting, so we'll call it four. And we're about to move on to step five. This is number one. This is mood struck addiction. Ooh, sounds bad. <laughs> um, and now, there, now this has a number one. You probably can't see it. But there's like a watermark number one. I think, what, there are three different types? There's three different palettes you can well, buy. Well, tell us about those, Denise. <laughs> one is the browns. Two is like for the, um, when you want the smoky eye. And three is your pinks and purples. Okay. Well, there are two on here that I like. There is Chipper, which, by the way, is the nickname of uh, one of my friend, uh, Robbie and Pam Watson's son, Chipper. And uh, then there's also Forthright which uh, makes a full circle. You do a first right, a second right, a third right, and a fourth right, and you've made a full circle. But those are the two, two of the darker ones that don't have a whole lot of shimmer to them, and I'm going to use those two now, again, to do my eyes, mostly just to sink them, sink them down a little bit. So I'm going to start with the darker. And don't take much for that either. Yeah. I actually did a little bit too much. I'm going to have to get my blending butt out in a moment. And then I'm going to take the wider one and do up above it. Well, 
Well, that's the good thing about Unique. It only takes a small amount that may, I mean, it, it lasts a very long time. So, it's good that it don't take much. That way it lasts. Doing that. And again, I, I went kind of subtle here on the eyes, so I'm blending it out. Okay, there we go. We're getting there. That was number, I think, five. We'll call it five. I'm moving on now to number six. Which I do not want dark, dark cheeks. Now, I'll be honest, this is not, what color is this called? This, I, I don't know. It says, it's, that's. Bootstruck Minerals Pressed Blusher. I don't see. The color's on the back. Oh, the color's on the back. Sweet. Mm -hmm. It's called Sweet. I'm not sweet. I'm kind of sour. Um, I would actually, uh, if this were part of my, my kit, not my wife's, I would have uh, something with more of a, a brown tint to it. But you could always put eyeshadow on your cheeks, too. Yeah. And we have a bronzer, too, that you can use. Right. But I'm showing this because I wanted to show the blush. Mm -hmm. um, now, for me, no, I'm not following the cheekbone. I'm actually going to, for this, start at the cheekbone, and I'm going to come down, which is going to, again, um, it, it's, it's going to blush, but then it's also going to give that darker look to me, which is going to thin out my cheeks a little bit. And now, I do not have thin cheeks, so it's give, going to give me more of an aged, a little bit skeletal look. Now, something else that I do is I like to, and I'm going to have to go back and do something else with this now that I've already done, but I'm going to take a little bit of the blush, and I'm going to blush my nose a little bit to give that kind of kind of redness, like I've been drinking or something. Um, and then I'm going to go and I'm going to take, I'm going to, oops, that's the addiction, I don't want that. I want to come back to my sculpting trio and get a little bit of highlight. Now I put the red on my nose a little bit, and now I'm just going to do a line down my nose. And forgive me for not using the blending bud. I'm just going to blend that in a little. So I get a little highlight on my nose, give me a little bit of reddish, a little bit of highlight there. Um, okay, so I've got that. I've got... I'll go ahead and do the lipstick next. Now, again, I would choose for me something with a, a brown or more masculine tint. So I'm just going to use a little bit of this lipstick. This is called... I have no idea what it's called because I'm not wearing my glasses to do this. So it's some really cool sounding color. They have colors like sassy and saucy and sauntering and I guess only with essence, who knows. And sweet. Sweet. Yeah. Dear, 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 dear. <laughs> now our lip stain won't come off. Yeah, but but there was stiff, yeah, there stiff. was no colors that Don wanted to use with my lip stain. I am particular about my lips. Now something that, that you could also do is uh, probably use some of this um this eye color here, the addiction effect, I may go over with that. That's a little too red for my taste. Yeah. Um, Even our, um, I mean, you know, you can use the eyeshadow on the lips. We've got um, our, oh my God, my mind I went blank. You can use the eye color on the lips. You can use um, really a lot of these things. Multiple. Yeah. Now, I, you know, if you're a woman going out on a date, I probably wouldn't put eyeshadow on my lips. But um, we do. You can. But women do that, apparently. Uh, I do it to the stage. Uh, yeah, I like that. That's a little bit... It's a little bit uh, I like that. If only I could take out my teeth. Okay. Then I would have the old thing going on. All right. Now, I've got two more things that I want to do. Um, I'm going to put my powder on, but I'm going to do that actually last. The next step, which we'll call step 312 since I've lost count, 312, uh, I'm going to gray up my hair just a little bit. I've got some gray in already. I'm just going to do the temples. And before I did this, I actually shaved off my beard and everything that I normally have a goatee um, so that you can see what a baby face I actually have while I was doing this. But... Um, I hold up that. That is our eye... Hold up that little... The little thing. Okay, yeah. that is our eye pigments. Eye pigments. Yes, we have many, many, many colors, and you can use those on your lips 
on your cheeks, on your eyes, on your hair, wherever you need to put it. On your sexy bum. That's right. You can use it on your sexy bum if needed. But we have, like I said, many colors. They can be used wherever you want to put it. Now, a couple things. Number one, now this so this is this would be sort of like what an eyeshadow normally. Yes, okay? I kind of it's a pigment for like shading your eyes. And I, Denise herself has. I saw it in the kit. Twelve, fifteen. Probably I mean? about fifteen. Yeah. About 15. Because I I use I do use it on my eyes, but then again, I'll put a little bit of uh, on her sexy bum. No, a little bit of lip gloss, and then I'll color my lips. Mm -hmm. You know, I have reds, and I have pinks, and I have even the white, the natural tones. So, just spray a little bit of that on your well, hand, I've Bob. I've got to show this, too. This is the Crystal Shine and Hold. Now, what you do is, is, is I'm, I'm going to be using the, the pigment in my hair. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to squirt a little in my hands, put it in the area that I'm going to put the pigment on, and then I'm going to put the pigment on there. And this mm -hmm. will, correct me if I'm wrong, help to set it and mm -hmm. hold it, correct? Right. Well, anything. I mean, you can just put it on there itself. But if you use that, that kind of just sets the pigment into your hair. Just wherever you're going to put it. If you want to go grayer, if you want some red streaks in your hair. And then spray a little hairspray over it after, afterwards. And that will keep, you know, the young girls that like to put the um, colors. and uh, You can use the pigments for that too. And it washes out. And it's also good for the young guys who would like to do that. That's right. I have a stepson who I guarantee you would like to go pink and purple and tutti frutti colors. Do that whole Cindy Lauper kind of thing. Hey, don't talk about Cindy Lauper now. No, I'm not. I speak with reverence about Cindy Lauper. Okay. Okay, I'm going to sprinkle a little bit in my hand. Probably should have done it on your fingers. No, because I'm going to use this finger for that. Now, I'm starting off with my eyebrows, actually. I don't know if you noticed, uh, I had actually put some of the. Uh, the holding solution on my eyebrows as well as my hairline of the temples. There you go. That's what you do. I think I got some on my ear there, but again, I don't have my glasses on, so it's a little hard for me to, for me to tell. Yeah, you're finally doing what I told you to do. I am hard-headed. You are. There you go. That's what you do. Okay. Now, I think I've done subtle enough on this overall for you to get an idea. The last thing that I have to do now, Powder. unless my wife has other voices in her head mm -mm. that I have to follow, is I need to powder down. Now, that may be a little bit too dark for you, but, I mean, we have different colors. Here, you need me to do that? Just push it in, and oh, it'll, push. yeah, push it in, and then there you go. I have a genius level IQ and a degree with three majors from Mercer University, and I can't open a dang compact. Okay. Our, fa our powder actually can be used at, just turn it upside down, it'll open. Turn it upside down. Uh-huh. Ah. Uh, it can be used as a foundation too if you'd rather just have our our face and eye primer and the powder that uh, that will stay all day long you can sleep in your makeup and it's still the same as when you wake up that's what's good about unique it lasts a very long time as long as you put on the face and eye primer and also what Don's going to show you. I know those lights on stage is very hot and you just sweat, sweat, sweat. So we're going to show you in a minute. We're going to put a little water on him and show you that makeup, makeup is not going to go anywhere once I throw a little water on his face. You going to throw water on my face? I sure am. I'm melting. Okay. Now. There we go. I didn't do like a, a big, great, old, old age kind of thing. I just did kind of middle age like I am. There we go with that. I've made myself a little bit lighter, complected. I've got some highlight and shadows um, where I have wrinkles and where I wanted to sink myself. I've made myself a little bit pasty, like, a, like I'm not out in the sun. 
and I probably sh I probably should have used my blending butt a little more to make that a little more subtle on my forehead. So forgive that. But now I'm an older guy. Hey, kids, get off of my yard, you whippersnappers! Um, but anyway, there are the basics. Now, there are a couple of things that we want to go over with you. Number one is apparently my wife is going to splash me, douse me. Uh, she says it's water. It might be lighter fluid, so we don't know what she'll be doing here. So I want to do that. And don't forget, I also have an extra surprise here at the end. As soon as we wrap this up, that I'm going to tell you about that you don't want to miss. Okay, we're back. That's the magic of movies. We took a break, and my wife got me a big old glass of water. Now, the reason she wants me to do this is to show you that how, how water resistant and sweat resistant this stuff is. You get up under those hot lights, either on a film set or on stage, and, and you know, a lot of people sweat. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to call out any of my friends, Bill Felton, <clears throat> um, but I have a lot of friends, Bill Felton, <clears throat> who get on stage and just sweat like an absolute pig. <coughs> Bill Felton from Order Robbins Little Theater, <coughs> directing nonsense this summer, <coughs> but I won't mention his name. Uh, but a lot of, uh, a buddy of mine, Mike, uh, really most people who go under those lights um, get, uh, get very hot and, and, and we sweat. So I'm going to make myself sweat. I'm gonna make you sweat, ta, ha, 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 ha. ha. Oh yes, I'm sweating. Um, oh no, whatever. Look how it beads off your forehead. Whatever shall I do? It's like turtle wax. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. I've been sweating, right? Makeup comes off when you sweat. Not this stuff. Watch. Okay, I've done my scene. I'm sweating from under the lights. I rush off stage, and the makeup person's there. She hands me just a napkin, a Kleenex, a facial tissue, if you will. And all I'm doing is dabbing. And if you notice, look at that. Nothing, nothing's coming off onto that. The makeup's not coming off on this. It's still adhering to my face. Because I used my primer and my powder. Now, I'm not looking at a mirror, honey. You'll have to tell me, my dear wife, if I'm getting all the water. Well, it's just beating down. It's not... Anywhere else I need to get? There's a bunch of it around your eye, but it's just beads around your nose. Now, that's good. And I'm still beautiful. Now, here's the deal, folks. This is Don McGraw, middle-aged look. You could do a more standard makeup to take age off of you by not accentuating the lines in the face or, or, or making you sallow or anything. Uh, you could do an older age makeup. You go heavier on the lines, more on the, the shading, more on the high shadowing, more on the highlighting, uh, more gray in the hair, that type of thing. Um, you could do all of those. This is sort of a middle of the road type of thing for me. Now here is the deal. Normally on these videos, Denise gets 8, 10, maybe 12 shares. I'm not talking likes, I'm not talking comments, but shares on Facebook. If Denise gets 25 shares on this, I'm going to come back, I'm going to have her do my makeup, not stage makeup, but full-blown woman makeup, and I'm going to go to Walmart and film it. Yay! If she gets 25. <laughs> even with my 3D lashes? Even with your 3D lashes. Yeah, because we didn't demonstrate those. I will have her doll me up. We'll film that, and then I will go to Walmart in full makeup. That's if she gets 25. If she gets 50 shares, let's say within the next week, a week from today. No, I want to say 50 shares within three days. Within three days. If she gets 50 shares, I will not only do the makeup, I will put together a costume that goes with the all-female makeup and go to Walmart and film it, okay? I just won't be sure which bathroom to use in this political climate. Um, but anyway, so, if you like this, or if you want to see me embarrass myself, share this on Facebook. Click share from her page where she's posted it. And again, if we get 25, I'll do the full makeup and go to Walmart uh, within three days, she said. If I get 50 shares on this, I'll do the makeup and a full outfit that goes with it. And if someone, if they buy it, what are you going to do? Lord, I'll come over and do your makeup for you. I don't know. What, what am I going to do? If, if Let's somebody... think about that. If I get enough people, I say if I get 10 people buy, even if it's just one item, mm -hmm. hmm, 
I'll do your makeup and you can do mine and we'll both go to Walmart. Oh, okay. Yeah, that sounds good. So, okay, if we get 10 people who buy anything, and, and I mean, some of these things are, are, are very inexpensive. Um, I know some of the stuff is like 15. Uh, $12, 15 mm -hmm. something like that. Um, you know, so, some of the, the bigger kit type things are more expensive. If we get 10 people who buy anything, no matter how inexpensive, she'll do my makeup. I'll do hers. I'll make her look look like an old haggard woman. And, that wouldn't be hard. And uh, and we'll go out to Walmart and, and we'll film it and, and all that too. So, if we can get ten people to buy anything, or if we can get twenty five shares full female makeup, fifty shares full female full female makeup and wardrobe at Walmart, and if we get at least ten people to buy, we'll dial her up to and take her with. So, until next time. Until I might be going in drag to Walmart. I hope, you, <laughs> I hope you all, my wife's laugh scares me. I hope you all have a great day. And check out Denise's uh, unique page at uniqueproducts.com slash Denise McGraw. And anything else you want to add to that, honey? Thank you, Don, for doing this. Thank you, Don, for doing this. Bye-bye. <laughs>